Jump Force is a new crossover fighting game which features anime characters from Shonen Jump, which is a magazine that contains tons of manga that has introduced the world to things like Dragon Ball Z or Rironi Kenshin, uh, Naruto, One Piece. This is a major, major thing, and it's sort of like Super Smash Brothers, except for anime. Something I was really excited about, actually, despite some initial fears when I saw the character designs in 3D, which was a little strange. I have to admit. This game was developed by Spike Chunsoft and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. The main story begins when Frieza is fighting with some of the heroes and he's destroying things and a civilian gets affected by a blast and this civilian is revived by Trunks. And then you play as that civilian. You can customize your avatar with various things, which we'll talk about in a second. Then you're introduced to the lobby where there's online and offline matchmaking, there's shops, there's upgrade abilities, and then you have to choose a team. And these teams are made up of of specific characters from Shonen Jump manga. And you can choose which ones you like based off of the people who are in the team, whether or not you have certain favorites. Like I chose Team Alpha because Goku's there and you know I'm a giant Dragon Ball fan. Or you can choose a team based off of skill set, which I couldn't blame you for not really knowing what that even means since the game just started and you know nothing about it. Then there's a long list of missions you can complete. Some of them are training. Some of them do factor into the story. There's a lot of cutscenes. Let's talk about those cutscenes, because now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. This game was fucking terrible. The idea of taking these characters that are so famous in drawing and in animation form and turning it into 3D animation could potentially be a great idea. Unfortunately, the animation for these characters, especially their facial expressions, completely laughable. They rarely change from this very stern look of anger. Goku is a character that's very lighthearted, but throughout this entire game, he looks extremely mad and everyone else does. And after a few days of playing the game, the character animations, the cutscenes, the extremely dumb enemy AI, and some of the rather impossible scenarios you get yourself caught up in in the middle of fights where you just lose half of your health when the enemy does like an extreme combo of specials. All of this became so funny that I invited my friend over and we played the game while a little bit inebriated. Some vodka may have been involved. Man, did that enhance the experience. Let's talk about the music for a second. The music for the lobby sounds like a 1970s porn film. It starts out really good and then there's this shift where it just becomes Shaft. There's also a considerable amount of technical glitches as well. Little tiny things like my character's feet not touching the ground, my wife actually pointed that out. I made her to look like my wife, you know, an exaggerated anime version of her. And there was a time when I spawned in the lobby and I was just surrounded by other players lodged within them and I could move through them as if they were ghosts. And there's various people placed throughout the lobby that you can go up to and speak to and sometimes they'll give you advice or a helpful hint and they all seemed to be dressed like trunks, almost every single one of them, and it became so repetitive that it was just a joke after a while, like so much of this game. But let's talk about repetition for a second, because the fighting in the game is really what should be the saving grace, the matches. Are they fun? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes they can actually be a lot of fun. This game isn't like Superman 64 level atrocious or disappointing. The character animations and the cutscenes absolutely are, but the fights can be okay, and online I encountered virtually no lag, which I was impressed by. But after a few days of a lot of matches, the fighting does get very repetitive. Once you learn how to dash and sidestep and sort of block properly and how to get out of a block and some of the things you can do to stop the enemy from doing these insane combos that are just unrealistically unfair. Once you learn some of those things, the fighting does get better. And I think it's just like an online fighting game purely, this could have some legs, especially by patching certain things, namely load times skipping cutscenes, improving some of these things, which they have mentioned they would like to do. Once that happens, I feel like the fighting can at least be playable. But man, was it ever improved by some vodka. Holy shit, what a great night. I mentioned customizing your avatar because it really sucks the amount of options you have. There's extreme limit to them, and most of the customizable things are just clothing or hairstyles from other anime characters from Shonen Jump. There's not that much originality to it. You can basically make yourself look kind of like 
other anime characters and just customize a very small amount of things. I don't normally review games that I didn't like, but in this case, it was just something I was really looking forward to playing. It was something I was excited to get my hands on, something that I've waited for for a long time, the idea of this crossover event. There are other games that involve Shonen Jump characters that are considerably better, namely this one, which uh, came out semi-recently, was Dragon Ball Fighters. This was awesome. This was really good, also published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. Considerably better, I would recommend this over Jump Force. Based off of what I've played so far, I would rate this game a four out of 10. It could be improved considerably with patches and a lot of fixes. And so I'm not gonna like give this game like a hard rating, you know, and I'm not gonna come back and re-rate it again. I mean, if they patch things and it gets better, that's great but this will be my one kind of thoughts on video for Jump Force. It annoys me that I have to, to give the game that caveat. Like it could get better if they fix things because I already paid $60 for it and bought it. It should be done. Like the improvements that can be made should be minimal at this point. Not these drastically humongous changes that would fix the game. And that's the problem with modern games in my opinion is just so much of them are released before they're 100% finished. And this game does feel unfinished. And as someone who's waited for the game for a while, drastically disappointing. Nevertheless, guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.